Okay, so now we we will do this problem. Um, I've got um, a helicopter saying that during a fire extinguishing operation, the helicopter um, remains stationary above the dam well, filling a bucket with water, a bucket of mess, 80 kg filled with uh, 1.6 kg of water uh, is uh, lifted vertically upwards through a height of 20 meter by a cable at a constant um, speed of two meter per second. The tension in the cable is, uh, one point, is 17,000 Newton. Assume that there's no sideway motion during the lift. In other words, it's not going left or right. And then air friction is not ignored. Okay, now the thing that state the work energy theorem in words, so this work energy theorem um, is given by um, work net is equals to change in EK, right? Change in kinetic energy. So that's the definition. You can see um, the network done. Okay, let me write it here. The net work done, the work net done is equal, is um, equal to the change, to the change in objects in the objects in the objects um, kinetic energy in the objects kinetic energy okay so now the second question is to draw a free body diagram of all the forces acting on the bucket of water so now this was one so on number two you 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 expect to have a point there so now you've got detention okay which is pulling up the box okay so now you have got uh, tension and then now you've got uh, um the weight okay you've got the weight we can call it w Okay, now they say that the air friction is not to be ignored. So it means that now you have got also a friction which is opposing the motion. Okay, we'll say here you've got F. Okay. So now, and those are three forces which are acting on the block. Okay, on number three, they think that work done, use work energy theorem to calculate the work done by F friction, right? On the bucket moving the height of 20 meter. So now we can start um, with our golden formula. Um, it says work, it says work net is equals to change in EK, change in EK. Okay, so now, how many forces acting? So you will have the work done. You will have the work done by by tension. Then you add it by with the work done by the weight. Uh, then you add it with the work done by the friction. So that so we're told that at a constant speed. So it means that you are changing kinetic energy will be equal to zero, okay? Because the reason being that constant, constant speed, okay? Because of the constant speed. So now, what is the formula here at the tension? You, you are given, so I can come and say force. Okay, allow me to say force by tension because 
you know must um, work is equals to force multiplied by distance cos cos theta so now this um this is the parent formula for work so now this is the angle theta is the angle between force and the distance so you you can have um, f change in i can say f Mapla by y cos theta. All right. So for weight, you've got Fg. You've got Fg. Mapla by y cos of theta. Okay. So plus work done by friction. You know what we're looking for so now here we we we, we know that this fg you know fg is equals to this fg here is equals to mg we know that so what is the force um we have got the force of the force of one seventeen thousand and then multiply by height which is 20 so cos of zero right cos of zero degree because now the it's in the same direction you know it's in the same your attention is going up so it means that um your force is in the same direction as the direction of the motion so plus mg so mass here you have um 1680 you add the two mass okay and then multiply by 20 cos of so now your 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 force is going you are your weight is pushing down so you have got um sort of an angle here of 180 degrees all right so it will to level cos of um, 180, 180 degrees plus work done by friction is equals to zero. Okay. So now, if you use the calculator, the sum of this, you'll you should get um, you should get uh, three forty thousand. Okay, then you edit here, you should get a negative because cos of one, it is negative one, right? So you should get a negative answer of um, uh, 32, 928, um, okay? That's work done by friction is equal to zero. So now um, the sum of these two should give you, um, you do ten seven twenty, okay. Plus work done by friction is equal to zero. So now because the work done by friction, you know, the friction is opposing the motion. You should have a negative work done, isn't it? It's true because now your 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 friction is is pushing the block down, okay, right? It's opposing the motion of the the motion the total motion so now you are work done by friction you should get um negative you should get a negative of 10 negative of 10 7 2 0 shown okay so this is the work done so um, um, um thank you